back to my channel if you're new here my name is jasmine i make a lifestyle and beauty videos if you're returning welcome as well thank you so much for your love and support i truly do appreciate it did you guys notice that new intro let's go ahead and play that on one more time So shout out to my husband for creating me a new intro and a new outro. He worked really hard to create this and I am so proud of him and I think he's so proud of himself too. So let me know what you guys think of the new intro down below in the comments. So we have finally reached over 1,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it and I feel so blessed and I'm just so amazed by how far i've gone and how comfortable i've gotten with the camera as well i am so excited for what is next and all the opportunities that are coming my way so thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed to me everyone that has supported me i honestly truly truly do appreciate it so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my june favorites most of the things that i have for today are going to be some high-end products that i have been testing out but i do have some drugstore products because i am just a big drugstore girl so if you are interested to see what made it into my top favorites go ahead and just keep on watching okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with eyelashes because you guys all know that that's my favorite part of doing my makeup just because the eyelashes just transform your whole look to a whole different level so i have discovered two different brands that i honestly really really love especially for the price so for the first lashes that i have been loving is the beauty creations this is a 3d full mink lashes and this is in the style hush hush which are the ones that i am currently wearing at the moment i'm gonna go ahead and do a close-up for you guys so you guys can go ahead and check them out so these eyelashes are honestly so voluminous and they are so fluffy like once you put it on your look transforms so much more especially when you have more of a dramatic look i feel like these eyelashes look so pretty for today i did an eye look that was more on the colorful side and i feel like it was a little bit more dramatic for me because i usually don't do these colors but these eyelashes just transformed this whole eyeshadow so much more better because it was looking a little funky when i was first doing it so these ones have been my go-to for uh, just a more dramatic look i would say if you really want that like extra volume into your eyelashes i definitely recommend you guys checking these ones out and i believe these are only $3.99 now where else are you gonna get eyelashes for $3.99 that look really good and they're super comfortable as well so highly recommend you guys checking these ones out i also got another pair of eyelashes from them which are the ones in discreet which are these ones right here now these have nothing with discreet i don't even know why they named it like this because these ones honestly are super voluminous too they are more on the fluffier side so the length is pretty long but it's not as long i would say as like the hush hush ones these ones are more like a medium length but they are very very voluminous and super duper fluffy so i feel like these would honestly look super pretty with a more of like a soft glam look and again these were only $3.99 so it's honestly such a good price for the quality that you guys get something that i thought was pretty cool is that when you're putting it into the packaging it actually has like a magnet which kind of seals in and you just kind of go ahead and just pull it out i thought it was pretty cool when i'm buying eyelashes honestly the packaging makes such a big difference for me because i like having a cute packaging to kind of display on my vanity now another pair of eyelashes another brand that i have discovered are the flutter and love now this is a pretty small business but honestly their eyelashes are incredible so these ones are in Ange, which look like this now first of all these are super long not so much of like fluffiness more of like the length that it gives you so i feel like this will look really good with a soft glam look as well kind of like an everyday look honestly the packaging is so pretty so this is the packaging for them it is like a pink and white look and then you have the name right there so definitely recommend you guys checking them out i believe these were i think 10 or eleven dollars i'm not sure but honestly it's still a really good price and i've used them a couple of times they still look really really new in the packaging so i got another pair of eyelashes this one is in sand and then these are more of same thing the length that i have but i feel like it's a little bit more fluffier than the first ones that we saw so here is a close-up i do plan on doing a 
another video on just these eyelashes so kind of like a try on haul so i did order some more eyelashes from them and i think they should be coming in in the next week i want to say so i do plan on doing a video kind of showing you guys how they look on my eyes kind of like how i showed you guys with the beauty creations one but honestly these eyelashes are super comfortable when i wear them they don't really hurt my eyes they don't feel so heavy either i feel like they're just really really comfortable and i sometimes forget that i'm even wearing any like eyelashes on so now we're gonna move on since we're talking about eyes we're gonna go on to my favorite eyeshadow palettes that i have recently discovered so one palette that i honestly am obsessed with and i have not stopped using it is this urban decay born to run palette i know it's not new i'm pretty late when it comes to like trying out things but this palette is so pretty i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the colors now look at that you're looking at more of your warm tone color it comes with matte and it also comes with some shimmery colors and these are honestly so pretty but i did use this palette to create the look that i did today and i do have a video coming up next week so you guys can go ahead and check out how i created this look using this palette but honestly heads up it is so easily to use the shadows are so easy to blend with they're not so harsh there is a little bit of fallout but personally for me i don't mind a little bit of fallout um just because i feel like all the palettes have to have some kind of fallout going on but for me the fallout isn't really a big deal i can work with it it's fine it creates a beautiful look so it doesn't really matter to me and then it also comes with your mirror as you can see there you're gonna see my camera um, it does come with a mirror right here, so I feel like it's really good if you want to use it for like traveling. And the mirror does fold back, which I personally love. Another perk that I feel like I really like is the packaging. So I'm going to do a close-up here. So the packaging has all these beautiful pictures of basically just kind of like vacation. And it also has it on the back as well. And it's just kind of giving me like vibes of traveling. So I feel like this is just a perfect traveling palette. So definitely recommend you guys checking this one out. Now for the next palette that I also have been loving is Araceli Jalisco palette. And I have been eyeing this for the longest time because I see it all over Instagram. Like look at those eyeshadows. It's just so pretty. So on the top it says Beauty Compasión. So you have Ochata, Sombrero, Tequila, Amor, Corazón, and Café. And these eyeshadow are so pretty i created more like a reddish type of look i use the corazon sombrero and tequila tequila is such a really pretty color like this looks really pretty on the inner corners or kind of like placing it like in the middle of the eyelid it is a little bit more on the pricey side but they do have like a lot of discount codes all the time or if you're new, they give you like a 15% off. So definitely recommend you guys doing that. I know I did the 15% off because I had never shopped from them before. But these eyeshadows are super easy to blend with as well. They create such a beautiful look. And I feel like it's just, it's just a beautiful package. So sticking with the face, I'm going to show you guys what my favorites were as far as bronzers and highlights. So I only have one top bronzer that i have been loving which is this essence sun club matte bronzing powder palette which looks like this which is the one that i featured on my ulta haul which i will put it right up here so you guys can go ahead and check it out if you haven't done so already so this one palette comes with four different shades so the ones that i have mostly been using are these two up here to kind of bronze up my face but i have been using the bottom two to kind of put it on my crease area to do it as a more of a quick look i'll put it on my crease pop on some eyelashes and it just looks so so pretty and i believe this one's only like five or ten dollars which is super good because you're getting four different colors instead of just buying one bronzer for like ten dollars and then it also does come with a mirror which i honestly like like i said i like mirrors when it comes to traveling i know we're not doing that at the moment but when we do i feel like i really like the mirror just because it's just easy to travel with and then these ones are very very pigmented so you want to be very careful when it comes to using this palette because i learned the first time i tried it out i put it on on my face and i looked like someone punched me i seriously look like someone punched me in the face and it was so hard to kind of clean it up because once it's there it's really hard to kind of diffuse that product but definitely go ahead and be light-handed with this one or else you're going to regret it just like I did. But as far as the color, it looks really, really good. 
definitely recommend it just be very careful with using this one so now for highlighter i have been on the lookout for a good highlighter because i feel like i just kept using the same one which was the milani one and i was like you know i need to find some more highlighters so i can kind of do more videos and not just involve like the same products so i went to rite aid and then i also went to dollar general and i picked up these two highlighters which i'm so happy about because these are honestly so pretty started off with the dollar general i got this beauty radiant finish highlighter in the shade champagne kiss and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looks like is the color right here hope you guys can actually see how it looks like look how bright that is do you guys see how bright that looks like this is such a pretty pretty color i feel like this can also be really good for the eyelids and also like the inner corners that's kind of how i've been using it as well too not just like using it for highlighter but using it for other stuff too the other one that i really like which is more like on a creamy side is the koki soft glow highlighter and this one is in the shade heavenly and it looks just like this super pretty super super creamy so this one has more of like the gold color so it's going to be this one right here. So you guys see how this one is a little bit more on the powdery side. And then the one on top is more like a creamy look. And then do you guys see that? That is so pretty. And these honestly weren't even that expensive either. I Between these two, I honestly go for the Koki one. And this one, I kind of use it more on the eyelids. But Don't think that just because it's from a dollar store they're not going to be good you would honestly find some hidden gems in there that work just as good as high-end products so now we're going to move in onto the skin so the next few products are going to be more like setting sprays and primer waters so i have been loving the smashbox photo finish primer water set refresh and spray which is this one right here i feel like this has made such a big difference when it comes to applying my makeup especially when it comes to applying my foundation i feel like my foundation goes on a lot more smoother so this is a three-in-one hydrating spray that primes sets and refreshes makeup with electrolytes it is silicone alcohol and oil free and it's good for all skin types the spritzer on this one is really good like it literally just kind of like falls on top of your face which feels so nice on the skin so hydrating so highly recommend you guys checking them out the next thing that i got from smashbox is the photo finish primerizer primer and moisturizer which looks like this this is a primer that hydrates for 24 hours and it also locks onto the makeup it moisturizes with hyaluronic acid it's lightweight textured absorbs in seconds and it helps makeup look good and last all day it's really good for all skin types and you only need to apply like one or two pumps i feel this honestly makes a big difference you when you first apply it it's more like a liquidy consistency but as the more you start to rub it into your skin it feels more like a moisturizer like it kind of thickens it up but honestly this feels really really good on the skin you don't feel too oily it absorbs very very fast so by the time you're kind of putting in the foundation it already absorbs into your skin and your skin instantly looks a lot more hydrating and it looks a lot more healthier and then as soon as i apply that foundation on it just kind of glides on it and it kind of just sets my whole face really really nicely without making it look so cakey so every time i apply my foundation i kind of use these two and these two together work really really nice and then as far as setting sprays i like to go in with my smashbox photo finish setting spray weightless which is this one right here this one i like to use whenever i feel like i put too much or my face looks too powdery too cakey i like to go ahead and use this setting spray because it kind of just melts all those products together and then giving me that flawless look at the end honestly it looks like my skin looks so healthy and it just melts everything together so the spritz on this one is also very good it's kind of like the other one it's just kind of like a mist that kind of falls on your face which makes it feel so refreshing and so nice another gem of mine that i took so long to discover and i don't even know why is this urban decay all nighter setting spray this setting spray is my go-to when i'm having a long day or i have a long night ahead of me i kind of apply this because this is honestly going to make your foundation last all night for so many hours without having to really retouch so many times and then the spritzer on this one is also very nice 
it's kind of like the same one as a smashbox it's very like a mist and it just feels really really good on the face i have tried this out already about three times and each time i feel like it makes my makeup just last so much more longer than using some other setting sprays not saying that there isn't drugstore setting sprays that are good there are trust me but if you do have some extra money to kind of splurge i definitely recommend you guys picking this one up and then for more of a drugstore i like to go in with my elf matte plotting mist which looks like this so i usually like to use this setting spray when it comes to retouching my makeup because this honestly kind of just makes my foundation and also like all my products to kind of lock into place again and make it look more hydrating it does finish in like a mattifying way but it's not too matte where you're drying out your skin if that makes sense and i really like that it's really small it's not too big so you can kind of put this in your purse and kind of go on with your day and then spray on whenever you feel like you need it and the spritzer on this is really good it's kind of like a mist so i kind of just put this in my bag and then whenever i feel like i need a retouch i go ahead and just spray this one and it's just go on with the rest of my day and i feel and i look really really nice okay guys so that completes my june favorites i know i had a lot more of like high-end products but that's just because i've been getting out of my comfort zone and seeing what else is out there i hope you guys really enjoyed this video let me know if you guys try out some of these but if you like this video go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up go ahead and subscribe down below to be part of my journey here on youtube so don't forget to hit that post notification button to be notified every time i post a new video bye guys